beautiful dolls and my beautiful sunshine welcome back to this your channel i'm so happy to have you here well as you can see i have the clear coat of acrylic already on this set and i'm ready to go um if you're not yet subscribed to this your channel don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button the like button and leave your autograph down below again thank you so much for being here and today i have a fall fallish not fallish a fallish Thanksgiving set something you would use you know during the holidays um, Thanksgiving doesn't really say Thanksgiving but it's really uh, happy <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but it's something I would wear on Thanksgiving or the holidays I'm gonna be using the cappuccino from the makeup collection makeover collection from exotic sorry and I'm gonna be doing an almond on only on the ring finger and I apply it and I start going side to side and pulling at the center and then on the sides I kind of tuck in and pull towards the top I don't pull only because I'll be wasting material and then it's gonna start looking I don't know how to explain it like streaky so I kind of pull and tuck at the same time as I'm shaping the almond then I pick up another bead put it on the cuticle area and kind of blend it into the rest of the almond Next, I'm going to be using, I was going to use that red, but I ended up using Heart from the Romance Collection from Organic, my pink acrylic from my Fun Elegance Collection, and the gold color from the Gothic Collection from Exotic Nails. And I'm kind of, kind of, uh, I've already done this nail before, and uh, I think I did it last fall. And I also did it during the summer, something the same style. I'm going to do kind of the same thing, but this time I'm going to encapsulate it. So I try and do it as thin as I possibly can. Right now I move on to using my thinner brush, but for now I was using that one. So on the pinky I'm going to use some of the cappuccino color. And I'm going to sweep it up. And I'm going to kind of ombre the heck out of the three colors right here on the pinky nail. I'm going to do the same thing on the pointer finger and the thumb. So I'm going to use a little bit of gold, a little bit of my rose gold from my Fun Elegance collection. and. I used the red that I showed you guys and I didn't like how it was looking so I moved on to using the this one right here which is the I'm sorry my throat's bothering me uh, the heart color from the romance collection from organic nails I love that collection my mom sent it to me by surprise and I take care of it so much I rarely use it and then um, I proceed to doing it's kind of like layers I'm going to be doing here on the nail, throughout the nail, I'm going to be doing little layers. So yeah, I'll leave you to see that. I kind of, it's kind of self-explanatory. You guys are going to see me do it and it's, you know, just shaping it into the nail, making sure it doesn't get out of place, putting the other one on top. And you're going to see me go back and forth because I want to wait for one to dry and then move on to the next one because I don't want it to like seep into each other. Um, I usually don't do this but since it's really cold right now when I was um, recording this video because it's been raining a lot and fall season is getting cold and stuff it was giving me a hard time drying up so I was going back and forth on the nails.
as you can see, I'm doing the same thing on the pointer. <clears throat> um, the only difference, I'm going to add some of the bronze glitter from the anime collection from Exotic Nails just to give it a little shine. I'm also going to mix the glitter with some of the gold and kind of try to seep it into the little um, wedges or whatever what you call them of the other nails so they kind of show a little more once I encapsulate. I thought it was recording, uh, but I paid attention. I double checked and I wasn't. So, before I finished encapsulating this nail, I did push the record button so you guys could see. I just put the clear acrylic, what is the area of the not the almond area, but the other area, and get kind of push it around and you know make it stay in place. Same thing with the other nails. Um, I just move it around with the belly of the brush. I don't use a tip because then the, the brush will get like a little bit of acrylic stuck in there and that's when you start getting your brush all hard and stuff so I just try to use the belly of the brush bring it down and always wiping when I'm done also when I'm done applying um, acrylic or encapsulating I also soak it in just pure monomer for a little bit and make sure to clean it that way I don't have it all messed up <clears throat> so here I'm going to be doing uh, a rose I'll be doing a rose on both of these nails and I'm using the Cappuccino and the Heart color from Organics, the Romance Collection. And I'm going to be doing a rose on this nail and uh, a smaller rose on the other nail.
So once I'm done doing the roses, I added bonder and I'm going to be gluing some crystals. I'm going to be using the smallest ones I have. I'll be putting three on the bottom, three on the top. Uh, I put one on the pinky, but it doesn't show it because I didn't know I was off camera. And then I put two on the pointer, just like going up and down. And that's it. After that, I go ahead and add the finish gel. I'll be using uh, Latin Evolution's newest uh, finish gel. I'm not at my table, so my the name went away. I think it's called Shine Gel or Shiny Gel. Um, but yeah, I'll be using that. And that'll be showing you the end results of this set. I hope you all liked this set as much as I did. I send you bunches of hugs, kisses, and squeezes, and much, much blessings. I love you all so much. Y'all don't know how thankful I am to have you here on this year channel watching my videos. I really, really try hard to come up with um, my own ideas. I really stopped seeing a lot of videos unless I'm supporting people because I don't want to get other people's ideas and people say I'm copying or something. So I just try to like not watch other videos at this point. Um, but I'm going to start watching again too. Also, the reason I don't watch that much is I vlog. So if you're invited to see my other channel, the link is going to be in the description box. I vlog and then um, I don't have my girls to help me out anymore in the house. It's just me, the boys, and my husband. So I'm a lot more busier and um, yeah. So that's the end results. I send you bunches of love, hugs, kisses, and squeezes. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and comment down below so I can go check out your channel. Uh, like I said, I do watch to support, but I don't watch other people's videos like that have all these views and stuff because... I don't want people to say I'm copying because YouTube. But anyways, sending you much love, much love, hugs, kisses, and squeezes. God bless you. I'll see you in the next time. Bye.